Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to get into the next episode of Arcane. As I stated before, episode 2 and 3 really got me hooked more into Arcane. I like the risky decisions they made to make it kind of more adult and serious and dark in that third episode, as well as the overall lore that finally folded back into itself with Zwan and all this other stuff, which is great because I, I remember the first two episodes, they're like, the lands. I was like, wait a minute, isn't Echo from Zwan? And like all these people who I knew were from Zwan that were showing up in these kind of things, which is great because it made it drawn. It all worked together. It was great. So I am glad I always tell people this. Don't let the first episode or even maybe the first couple episodes of something color your decision on it, especially if you think it has potential because sometimes it just takes a second for you to latch on or maybe you were in a bad mood that day when you watched the first episode or maybe you know the first episode just wasn't as great as this i'm not saying that's the case with this what i'm saying is you should give things a chance right don't let the first episode of something be the end all decider right especially if it's something you are interested in as opposed to like something you have no interest so like you know if i watched a sex in the city tv show that the first episode was garbage and i didn't like it i wouldn't watch anymore because i have no interest in sex in the city but i like riot games and league and this the mythos behind them is really what got me even into the game so this was really on some the level of things that i wanted to be good i want this to be really good because i like the title with that said, I hope you guys are enjoying watching. As always, it is a great fun to bring you these. If you uh, watch live, you can check us out on twitch.tv slash 3D reactions with an X where the C would be. You'll get it. It's in the link below. You can also check us out a week later, sometimes more on YouTube where you can see the same episodes just with the filters and the audio cuts and everything so we don't get copyright strikes. And finally, you know, if you're really dying to see everything in its full glory all the time, all the stuff we've ever made, you can check out our Patreon where for as low as a dollar a month you can get almost all the stuff we've released. No cuts, no edits, full audio with me in the picture. Okay, maybe that's a minus, maybe not tell people that. But you can get all those things for as low as a dollar a month if you join our Patreon and obviously we appreciate it a bunch, it supports us and helps us pay the bills. Finally, you can come chat to us in Discord. We like to chat with you guys, and I hope you like to chat with us. With that said, we're not going to wait any longer. I want to see what happens to Vi and Jinx slash Powder, uh, especially after last episode. I was really unhappy with Jinx, but what I didn't mention that I should have mentioned was I was also unhappy with how Vi handled it. Uh, my excuse for her is that she is also still technically a child, right? I had been saying that she probably shouldn't even have been going there. They only did it because it was kind of no choice thing, but right, she shouldn't have kind of like blown up at Vi. Obviously, it was somewhat understandable too on both sides, right? Like being blown up on by your sister after seeing everyone, then you go to the enemy and then blowing up on your little sister because she essentially just got your whole family killed, right? It's not that they're not understandable, right? They're fine character choices. I personally don't think I like them, right? I'm critical of it as, uh, you know, a personal trait, not as like a story writing thing, right? Story writing wise, that is a fine. Those make sense totally. For me, it's a personal thing. And I think sometimes I have to distinguish that because people are like, well, that makes sense. I was like, it's not that it makes sense. I think it's dumb whether it happened in real life or not, whether it's realistic. I don't think you should do certain things like that, right? Like it just fucks shit up. Anyway, we're going to get into the episode. I'm excited to see it. I already spent like three minutes talking, which is longer than our usual. I fucking hate doing that. Always get that speech. I, I can never take your place. I agree with them. Your hex gates have done one. Yeah, see, they're already years in the future. Lands, reignited passions in arts and science. You deserve this honor. He turned it around. All right. I, I thought he was a little older. He had the, the, the beard and the it's five o'clock. I know, but perhaps there's something <laughs> uh, we might be able to share. People love a grand reveal. Victor and I have just to think. The next chapter of Hextech. Oh, no. Come to the lab this afternoon. I'll show you. I'll look forward to it. You certainly have something to live up to, my boy. <laughs> Woo! Let's see how the city's changed. Yeah, they got the floating ships. That's definitely new. It honestly looks like it's reshaped a lot of the civilization. They're doing a lot of building if you see the scaffolding in the back. It's well, it's good detail. And you know, the funny thing is the backgrounds remind me of the still images that League used to put on its waiting screens. The, you know, the animated still images. 
So we still need to find out what happened to Viam Powder. I had already made the prediction, although it was different in episode two, that she would go to Piltover, become an enforcer, right? Like all these things that led to her original story. You know what I mean? In League. Oh, oh, now you're here pushing him out. I was going to say, I, I don't know if I'd be brushing shoulders with the people who, uh, you know, kind of fucked me off. Hey, it's Caitlyn! Uh-huh. Oh, hello. That's an interesting mask there. It reminds me a lot of, uh, Jin. It's probably not. I don't know who it's going to be, but... Firelights. <laughs> this is how they're gonna find it. Because the firelights interrupt. Is it gonna be Echo in there? I don't know. Oh, they want it. Shimmer, that's right, that's what it's called. They have a monster down below, huh? Who is it this time? Can't be Deckard, he's dead. She? Oh, Jinx, it's Jinx in there. Right, that's her little monkey. Fuck it, hit the shimmer, blow it if you're that afraid of her. Your, your likelihood of surviving the explosion is probably about as good as hers, so. Blow it all to shit, bro. Say fuck it. That's just me, though. I'm... Boom. That's <clears throat> not gonna draw any attention. The explosions, the fire, the guns. No, this is at a shipping depot where they were having to smuggle shit in, which means there's security around. None of this would have flown. There's a dead body. There's so much trouble. <laughs> he knew. We found a means to fortify the crystals. This new version is stable and absolutely safe. Nothing is absolutely safe, ever. An egg isn't absolutely safe. You can choke to death on it. Oh, the gauntlet. We can now design. Keep at it, and I'm sure you will discover a way to safeguard Hextech against misuse. He needs it. He's physically failing. You can see him. He doesn't have a decade. Yeah, so where- I was gonna say, there's gotta be police. I don't think you should be talking about that. There's more going on here than just the smuggling. If I could just question him, I- I'll take it from here. Since you're looking for more work, you can take the graveyard ship tonight at the fair. Yes, sir. Good. I want this one on a boat to Silwater Prison. How is he yes, not sir. in prison? <laughs> Vi just let him be, huh? I, I, I wouldn't have. His ass would have been in jail because it was all his fault. Oh, she doesn't know it was all his fault. The, those are exactly those still image pictures I was telling you about earlier. All right, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, underground ain't loyal, boys. I, I don't need time. I also don't recognize the voice actress, but it's. <laughs> I feel like it's one of the voice actresses whose voice she plays annoying characters. So she's always irritably gritty on me for her voice. I hate the way that one fat magistrate looks. Everybody else I'm cool with. Look at her neck thing turning. That's not bad. Oh, and her. Yeah, I'm sure she's doing well right now. I'm not weak. Mm, 
mentally, yes. Absolutely, no question. And I'm gonna show him. Oh, I'm gonna show him. You know how I know mentally strong people don't need to prove to other people that they're not weak. The lighting effects are really well done in this. I will say that. The lighting is, they've gotten on point, which is cool. And then you go right back to that, and it's a little rough. There's such a mix, it's so hard to do for me. Oh yeah, he's hiding because he'd already gotten hurt. Is Jinx gonna fuck it up? Is that where the whole... I'm not sure if that was the way to go or not to go. I don't... And then... There's something coming, man. Yeah, there's too much time left for there not to be something bad happening. Yeah. Something's gonna happen. Someone's gonna steal it or some shit. There's no way it's ending, like, with nothing happening. I thought that Talus boy was some kind of genius. Hmm. And all the guards go? Hmm. Bad. Yeah, trap. Once again, not a good idea for every single officer to enter there, even if that was a real person. These guys have terrible training. Yep. should be administered by a scientist. I second the motion. Well then, shall we vote? <laughs> what about my vote? Fuck y'all. Y'all paying? How much? There's her song. In your face. See, that video actually looks better than probably the most of this anime. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. That's amount of trouble that would have brought to them versus what they could actually do. They can't redo the gemstone. They're not smart enough. They've proven they're not smart enough to redo that gemstone. They have to keep stealing gemstones. There's no way to keep doing that safely and effectively without losing. They're gonna. Lo it's a. It's unfortunate. That's not a fight you win. After the attack, your parents spoke to the sheriff. This is the best I could do. I don't need charity, counselor. Yours or my parents. Kate. Get out. Yeah, bad mistake, bro. I don't I know you were trying to be the bro, and like she you know what she wants. What she wants to do, stop getting in the way, stop presenting secondaries, either help her or get out of the way, same way with your shit, right? Help or get out of the way. It's still water, oh shit. Still water is a uh, accurate two thing one. I thought she was Piltover Sheriff, was she still water Sheriff? Maybe she was, uh, I'm gonna check. Folks in here are usually very talkative. Yeah, Piltover's finest. This one was hit by friendly fire. He's got reason to talk. Must have been sent in today. Oh. Inmate 2135. Yeah, I'm uh, afraid that's not possible. Why not? Uh, well, there's been an incident. What kind of incident? The... Not so pretty kind. You don't understand. I have to talk to him. Oh, you'll be able to as soon as he can move his jaw again. Who assaulted him? That's the real question. Vi? Is Vi in there? That wouldn't make any sense, though. Why would... Oh, she beat him up because of... Yeah, all right. I was wondering. I was like, Silco shouldn't have sent anyone unless he talked. But if it's Vi... She's just punching the fucking wall. She was a prisoner, huh? 
Look at her. She's a fucking. She has tats? I didn't know that. I knew she had the Vi tat. That's pretty cool. All right. All right, all right, all right, guys. That's not bad at all. I'll be honest. I, I, I enjoyed that. The shit. I, I enjoyed a lot of it. Um, there were parts, right? They make it really rough for me because when you have an excellent level of writing and storytelling, you can't let it up. Even for a moment. It's, it's kind of the fucked up part about being normal versus being great. When you're great all the time, people expect you to be great all the time. And your minor mistakes are magnified by the fact that everything else you do is amazing. So like, with such a well-written story, when there's these little things like every Piltover guard coming to do that fire thing, that is a terrible training. E either the, all the Piltover guards have terrible training, which if Marcus is the sheriff, I guess that makes pretty good sense. He's pretty shit. He wasn't good at his job. He wasn't. He's not a good sheriff. It looks like. At first, I thought he was still corrupt because of uh, what's the the tattoo dude getting beat up. But it was just by beating the jack shit out of him. Uh, and I'm super excited to see how that develops because Vi and Caitlyn are supposed to become closer over time, and there's supposed to be a lot going on. And I'm excited to see exactly how it turns out, especially in regards to the story with Zwan and it's cool they put Stillwater in it's a lot they're doing a lot of good stuff I'm enjoying it and it's a pretty good show uh definitely one I'd recommend I will say I, I do think once again that the people who recommended it to me just overhyped it it's nowhere near the like the great amazing thing they told me it would be but it's a good show to watch it's worth watching and I'll probably continue it if you enjoy League I think it's even a better show right like a Sansa thing but without that it's still a pretty good show I think you'd enjoy it so check it out if you like remember to support us either live on twitch.tv every Sunday where we watch these and you can come chat with us or you can check us out on YouTube where we release these you know three up three different things a week arcane one piece and tacked up destiny right now We'd love to have you come and chat, comment, visit our Discord, and if you really are starving for the content and you don't want any of the cuts or the audio edits we have to put on YouTube for as low as a dollar a month, you can become a patron and get all of that stuff totally unblocked, accessed, etc. with no problems. So thank you guys again. I'm Axel Grave and this has been the fourth episode of Arcane. We hope to catch you next time on Reactions with the next.